Today's video will make you extremely angry. A 31 year old woman faces no jail time for sexually assaulting a 13 year old boy that got her pregnant. But women are all angels, but women can do no wrong. Oh, really? A 31 year old woman who admits to having sex with a 13 year old boy and then becoming pregnant with his child won't face any jail time under a plea deal with prosecutors. 11 Call for Action investigative reporter Matt Kroschel is joining us live tonight. Matt, 31 year old Andrea Serrano was facing sexual assault charges but accepted this new plea deal to. A man wouldn't even get this plea deal. They need to understand me when I say this. Women can literally get away with anything. They can kidnap your child through the child court system. They can hold your child for ransom. They can extort you for child support and they won't get in trouble. They can put your name on the birth certificate and you never even seen this woman or even heard of this woman. All she needs is a name. She can write that down and guess what? You have to be, you'll be liable to pay child support for that kid for the next 18 years of its life. And this is why I'm so passionate about what I do because I'm trying to save you brothers. This world that we're living in is fucked up. It's beyond effed. You stay out of prison. Adam Serrano gave birth to a baby boy. She admitted to having sex with that 13 year old. The victim's mother, who we're not going to identify in this story, tells us she is not happy with this deal offered to a woman she says ruined her son's life. I feel like my son's robbed of his childhood. Now he's having to be a father. He, he's a victim, and he's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. This mother says watching her son struggle with the reality he now faces breaks her heart. What has this been like for your son? Um, it's caused him a lot of depression. He's He's 13 years old and he is now a father. And guess what? If he doesn't get custody of his child, he has to pay child support. And this is how fucked up the system is. This is how broken the system is that a 13 year old boy that got assaulted by a 31 year old woman, a woman that is twice his age, has to pay child support for his child if he doesn't get custody. Do y'all see how evil and messed up that is? This system is against you. I'm sorry. If you want to have kids nowadays, bro, that you are playing Russian roulette with your life, fam. That is a biggest gamble. That is the biggest decision you can ever make is getting a kid, having a kid, and getting married. Those are two things in your life that can ruin everything for you. You could be a millionaire. You could be a billionaire. It doesn't matter. You can be a 40,000 nair, does it matter? This is, this is BS. Um, shut down a lot. Now she questions why this woman won't face prison. Look at this succubus, thocubus, demonic witch. You're 31 years old and you're telling me you can't find somebody that's of legal age? You're telling me you, you can't find a grown up to sleep with. You have to sleep with and, and assault a 30 a 13 year old boy you're kidding me are you kidding there's women that weigh 600 pounds that are getting dick uh, i feel like if she was a man and he was a little girl it would definitely be different they would be exactly in incarceration and dude there wouldn't be no type of appeal nothing dude you, you if, if a man did this if a 31 year old man got a 13 year old girl pregnant bro he would literally be buried alive under under the jail cell. He wouldn't even make it in jail. He wouldn't survive in jail. You know why? Because people in jail don't play that. If you are a, a, a Geppetto, you mess with kids, bro, they're going to get you gone. They're going to send you to the gulag, fam. And I feel like because she's a woman, they're not. They're having compassion for her because she was pregnant. But I don't think they... How can you have compassion for a 31 year old grown ass woman that assaulted a 13 year old boy? How? Where is the compassion in that? Where? Wood chipper, feet first. Taken to play again. She was pregnant by a child. You know, that child was created from a sexual abuse. 
Under exactly. Under the plea deal the suspect signed off on, she'll be required to register as a sex offender. And the judge could sentence her to 10 years to life of sex offender intensive supervised probation. But Saran... 10 years to life as a sex offender. So wait, after the 10 years is up, you're telling me she's no longer going to be a sex offender? She's not going to be on that list? Wow. 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 No, we'll avoid any jail time since the DA's office dropped the original charges to a lesser charge. But why? Why would the DA office do that? She just assaulted and took the innocence of a 13-year-old boy, a child. He literally just hit puberty. His balls probably hasn't even dropped yet, bro. He doesn't even have hair on his nutsack, fam. And you dropped the charges? Like, this is, like, she's not going to do it again after her 10 years is up? Really? Her 10-year sexual probation. Wow. Are you, are you kidding me? But if this was a man, he wouldn't stand a chance. And I'm not saying a man deserves a second chance after he does something with the underage girl. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it should be fair on both sides. And it's not. This isn't a quality because if it was a man, this wouldn't even be happening. He already would have been sentenced 20, 30 years. A pedo. That. That's what he would have been. He would have been buried. He would have been roasted on social media. He would have been demonized. But this woman isn't. She doesn't get demonized. She doesn't get scrutinized. She's the victim and a 13-year-old boy isn't that lost his innocence? That is now a father at the age of 13? That maybe has to pay child support in the future if he doesn't get custody of his child? He's a child having a child, fam. That does not come with mandatory jail time. What should other parents be looking for? Don't trust anybody, honestly. I mean, you can't trust anybody now. Fucking piss, man. The victim's family says they are looking for the next steps in this case, and they'll actually ask the courts to give custody to the 13-year-old of this baby. Adam and Lindsay, what we do know is that Serrano has a, a hearing coming up in May where she will learn how much probation time she'll have. Currently, Serrano has full custody of the baby. The woman that assaulted a 13-year-old boy has custody of the child. I am so angry right now. I can punch a hole through my monitor and destroy my $1,000 setup. If this doesn't wake you up, if this doesn't make you mad as a man or as a woman, whatever you are, you have no morals, you have no heart, you have no soul. Bam, please share this video. We need to ride for this 13 year old boy. If you're so-called RP, if you're so-called a for men's rights, you need to be angry. You need to share this video. We need to do something about this. We need to start a GoFundMe for this young man. We need to get this young man custody of his child. We need to riot for him. We need to make this go trending on Twitter and social media, Instagram, all Facebook, it doesn't matter. This is ridiculous, beyond ridiculous. And I'm beyond pissed. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Y'all share this video, man. Y'all get this word out here. Cause not many people know about this. But if it was a man, oh, it'll be all over Twitter and Instagram. I'm out, man. Peace.